hello and welcome and good morning everyone as you can probably tell from the first couple of slides or short little clips i'm not at home i am currently on a 10-day camping adventure um i think we have what is today thursday friday well including today we only have three full days left so we're nearing the end which is very sad but I wanted to take you along for one of these days. If I'm out of breath, it's because we're really high up in elevation. So breathing is hard up here. But um, so far, we're doing great. We're having the best time. I'll tell you all about everything that we already did later on. Maybe I'll do a little recap or something. We just had our second night here. I woke up, it's probably around 8.30. I've been sleeping a lot better here than I did in the last couple of campsites. The last couple of campsites, I woke up at like 7.30 a.m. every day, but today I I slept until like eight something. So feeling great, feeling refreshed and um, ready to climb the mountain today, but we're still waiting on two of our campers to wake up, but they deserve all the sleep. Sorry if it's windy too, it's extremely windy here. Okay, so to tell you a little bit about our adventure, we are gonna leave on the 11th, I think early in the morning. And we decided like, what the heck, why not just get up and go um, right now, right this evening, right after Alice got finished with work, cause she's along too. Um, it's me, Alice, Lady, and Courtney here, by the way. Um, so we went and we drove through the night and we all took shifts of like four hours so everybody had like a chance to rest and um, we got there, well we got to Golden, Colorado. We left at like 9 p.m. on the 10th and we got there, it was like the afternoon evening-ish so I want to say like 2 o'clock um, in the afternoon the next day or like 4 or something, maybe like 2 to 4 some sometime around there. Anyways, so it was like a whole ordeal. We got to Golden, got these blow up tubes, and we went tubing down this river, which was absolutely awesome. And then we got a hotel for that night since we hadn't planned on like actually going camping that night, so we didn't book a spot or anything. And it was kind of nice since we just drove to have like actual beds before um, this camping adventure and also a shower. So we just got like a Motel 6 super cheap. I'm um, going to Colorado and spent the night there. Next morning, woke up, drove to the Great Sand Dunes and camped there for, I wanna say like two nights. It wasn't super long. One day we rented sandboards and we climbed up the dunes and we went sandboarding, which was awesome. And like an experience that I've never had before. Lots of sand in your eyes and mouth and literally anywhere you can think of but well worth it, I'd say. Lady Alice and I climbed up to this really, really tall sand dune. It was so hot, the sun was scorching, but the wind also up there was just like whipping, like absolute madness. And so at some points we had to like hide behind our boards because the sand was just pelting us. We had like scarves wrapped around our face. I wanted to get goggles beforehand, but I totally forgot and didn't get them at the store. So I was just using sunglasses. Everybody was just using sunglasses, but I feel like goggles would have came in handy, even though I would have looked really silly. So we just had like hats, a scarf and sunglasses on to block our view. And that was super fun. And then one day we found a waterfall that was coming out of the mountain from a glacier, which was absolutely gorgeous. And um, I think that's about all that we did there. I mean, we saw beautiful sights like this huge field of flowers, the mountains. It was a, an amazing place to start off the journey for sure. Also, if I'm like sniffly and stuffed up, my allergies have been killing me this entire trip. I am absolutely in love with this campsite because there's like these pine trees everywhere. They're not really like the pine trees that I'm used to, but they're super cool. And they have these gigantic pine cones, which I so then we went to the Birch Tree Forest, which was up on a mountain, like I was saying, and the elevation there was like 11,600 some feet. So we were up really high. I was a little bit nervous about like elevation sickness just because Alice said that before when she came here, she got really bad elevation sickness and had to be pumped with oxygen, blah, blah, blah. Also, my parents just went to Colorado. I want to say Denver, but I'm not sure if that's the actual town that they went to. Um, for their 25th wedding anniversary. Happy wedding anniversary to my parents, little cutie pies. But they went and 
my mom got super, super sick from elevation, like had to go to the hospital, got home, and like weeks afterwards is still feeling some of the effects, still just kind of nauseous and like vertigo feeling, lightheadedness and everything. But so far I've been doing really well and I think that we've hit like our highest elevation that we're going to this trip that being the birch tree forest was pretty close but then yesterday when we went and drove around the rocky mountains and the highest mountain that we um, climbed up there was like 13,000 some feet so i'm faring pretty well i guess knock on wood pine cone works right knock knock but yeah so the birch tree forest was absolutely gorgeous i am in love with birch trees birch trees and pine trees oh there's lady good morning All right, so we might have a change of plans. Um, we're all kind of feeling a little emotionally and physically exhausted after the last couple of days. We have climbed mountains, we have climbed just steep hills. We've been doing a lot of hiking, walking around, like go, go, go for the past couple of days. It's hailing! It's hailing on us! How do you feel right now, Devin? There's a 30% chance it's already raining. <laughs> and I'm feeling a little happy because now we're not going to go on the hike, I think, which I'm okay with because I am also physically and emotionally pretty drained. So um, this will be nice. Everybody's awake now besides Courtney, so she's just taking it easy, which is okay by me. And... Um, yeah what was i saying now again oh yeah the birch tree forest so it was amazing it was all birch trees it was beautiful we were like on the top of this mountain um you could go out there were like these lakes i'll put pictures up so you all can see what i'm talking about we went to the moab desert which was freaking amazing i've never been to anything like that in my life like seeing red rocks and just the way that they were like huge forming up it looks like we were on mars or something i've only been there in my dreams so it was really cool to actually be there in person and um yeah we went to the desert we walked around the arches hung out in the shade because it's scorching hot down there um, i did a lot of drawing and then another day there we went down to the moab desert again and we were going to go to these hot springs but they ended up being kind of like far away so we happened upon just like randomly something even better it was like a stream kind of creek it's not really big enough to be a river and there were all these little tiny pools that were like perfect for swimming in because the rocks were so smooth it wasn't like hurting your feet or cutting you up or anything and the water would like rush through these pools and it kind of made like natural slides so you could just like get pushed along by the current and it was like a water slide it was so fun and so we hung out like all day there one day and then hiked up a little bit and found that there was a waterfall just a little bit like back and so we swam in the waterfall we swam under the waterfall and there was like a little hidden cave it was so cool um and then we went back to our campsite and actually i think that night was our last night and then we got here probably around like nine o'clock 8 30 maybe um not last night but the night before and we set up our tent we met the campground hosts who were super nice and helped us to find some wood that we could use to cook dinner that night and then we just pretty much relaxed went to sleep and then yesterday we woke up we woke up and we were going to go to breakfast that place that we're going to go to today but it was closed so we ended up having to go to a different town but that was totally cool because then we went and saw the stanley hotel which i guess is where the um, TV series The Shining was film. I've never seen The Shining. I know enough about it just because it's like super popular. It's shot beautifully, so I like looked into that. But I don't really like anything scary. And I know a lot of people may be like, The Shining's not scary. But to me, I'll just tell you, it's scary. Um, in case you didn't know, I was afraid of Men in Black when I was little. So uh, <laughs> if that puts it into perspective for you. But we went to there, we did a little tour, it was super cool, and then we just hung out afterwards on like the porch and had some drinks, and then came back here, and Alice made mac and cheese, and that's basically like a small little recap of what we've done so far. So this is our campsite. All the campsites here have these barrier lockers because we're in bear country apparently. Um, there's a box that we use to light the fire, you know, a little good fire starter. Lady in the tent, there's Alice, perched up on that rock up there, and... Yeah, everybody's waking up, so we're about to start our day. 
Oh, good. The babes emerge. Is it warm? Getting breakfast at this really cute spot. Alice grabbing some shots. Oh my gosh, love. Food has arrived. We are in Estes Park, are we? Estes Park, and we are like going to some antique stores. I just got this bracelet. Uh, ladies in this store right now buying a blanket. And looking at rings, I can see her right now through the window, sitting with Alice. Oh, there she goes. We just went into some stores, got some free alcohol. Let's see what Shelly got. Oh, let's turn around. We got apple whiskey. I have an espresso moonshine that's in here and I can't get it out with one hand. Alright, thank you. And Tadol. We're excited about that. And then Lazy got Sweetie Moonshine. She got tea. Uh, and now we're waiting just Courtney's grandma to slice a pizza. Some Colorado. We're singing along with this uh, guy who's playing guitar and basically just chilling. What else did you get today at the stores? Native American blanket. Beautiful. Oh. Love this baby up. This is my hair. Gorgeous. Those. And I got this Ooh, Native wow. American made sterling like silver that. amber ring. So gorgeous. This guy really knows what he's doing. <laughs> Be refrained. Just singing. So we just showered at this, I don't know, it's like a little lodge kind of a thing um, that is open because there's a lot of campgrounds around here. We passed by and saw that there were $4 showers and since we haven't showered in over a week, like a proper shower, we decided to take that up and it was magical and amazing and rejuvenating so good times were had also they have a bunch of chipmunks here that we fed on the porch i almost got a good video so i'll pop that in but now we're headed back to the camp i think we're gonna make dinner probably have some drinks because we bought some alcohol earlier and just kind of relax Just got back to camp, all fresh. Here goes Court. Ladies cooking dinner. She's making mashed potatoes. And Court's writing. Alice, are you writing the hammock? Or reading, probably listening to her book, that's why she can't hear me. Yep. And I'm just doing this. So, good times on the camp. Alice just strained the taters. 
Dinner's about to be served. The wind is absolutely wild. Everybody's hands are freezing. Correct? Yeah. Cold. <laughs> Can we put this on here? Or is that yeah, gross? I have a new one. <laughs> Finished dinner. Now we're having a little campsite dance party. It started storming on us last night. Uh, hailing. Hailing. Huge rain. <laughs> lots of hail. And, and now the winds are <laughs> the winds are coming in on us. No. The tent's broken. I forgot to finish the vlog last night, so that's what's happened. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, what do I say at the end of videos? It's been a while. Hope you're having a great day, whatever you're doing, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> All of us looking like you. Little... I did so <laughs> goblins. Yeah, goblins is the correct word. <laughs> the tent is lying down flat on top of us. It's the best oh. thing. <laughs> At least we're covered, we eh? Put it back up later. Oh, no. Like we could just leave it. You know, just undo it and leave it down here. Oh, the tent's looking rough. Oh, oh, my oh my gosh, it's not right. Something's very wrong here. I know. Thank goodness. So, just kidding guys, I'm actually going to keep vlogging today because I realized that I didn't get a lot. So, surprise, you get a two-day um, little vlog. There's Alice working on the tent, tent master, camping down, just right there. Oh, it's cold, it's freezing. Breakfast adventure. We're on a breakfast adventure. I see, yes. This place that we were originally going to was closed that we went to yesterday, so we're finding somewhere now. We made it here for a little breakfast. <laughs> Honestly, not stoked on the breakfast. It was kind of sad. We. Oh, it was just a bagel with a plain egg and a slice of like American cheese on top that hardly melted. And I'm not picky and, and neither is she. And the bagel was like this thin. I mean, yeah, no. I'm, I, we're just disappointed because we paid like kind of a lot of money for it. And because we were thinking about the place that we went to yesterday, which was so delicious. So good there. So we're probably going to get food in Our a little bit. Our chef had a sprayed ankle. Yeah. One chef sprayed One ankle. One chef sprayed ankle. Took an hour, but it was... Like all we the were kids were that. waitresses. Was, yeah. yeah, all the kids were waitresses. It was so cute. And the food was, the, that was some of the best breakfast food I've ever had. Yeah, That's and on my list. the older, like, grandpa, I'm guessing, of the family, because it was a family run business, it was wearing this Ramones cut off sleeve shirt with, with suspenders. like suspenders and like a camouflage shorts. It was, he was amazing. He was like a true oh, mountain punk guy. I loved him. Yeah. But um, we're probably gonna go antiquing a little bit and then get more food probably at that cafe. So <laughs> yeah, yes. good times. Cheers to mimosas though. <laughs> Last night after the storms, we decided to get a little room in this bed and breakfast. All the power's out in this little town because they were saying they can't run their electric lines underground because it's all granite and so the wind will often take out the power so there's no power in here now or in any other places but it'll be coming soon i'm allergic to tree nuts tree nuts yes anything else <laughs> so it's a good thing we got a hotel tonight because our tent is freaking <laughs> sad. It's so sad. Well, there we go. Like, fucking good, guys. Like, that would not <laughs> Since our tent's KO'd, oh my God. might as well just head up in the belly of the whale. 
It's cathartic! Shred it! Here's all the contents. So we're just standing here getting dressed and our tent decides to really take flight on us. We got all of our food here I'm literally changing. Oh my gosh, I wish that I wouldn't have captured that moment because it scared the shit out of all of us. We just packed up and finally this place that we've been trying to go to for like days is open! Okay, so we tried to go to that Mountain View, what was the cafe called? Mountain View. Mountain View Cafe, it was closed sadly, so we went and got delicious tacos. I got really spicy soup that was almost too spicy to eat. We, we also got some stuff at that store that we went into. I got this dress. It's hard to see because it's so windy, but I'm gonna wear it tonight. I got this dress, which has like this really cute, like me cut in, and it cinches it like right underneath the chest area, and then it has these very pretty, what do you even call that? Ruffles? Yeah, yeah, like ruffles. Something like that, but beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. And I got this adorable hairpin. Oh, that's really cute. And also got this ring, which is sterling silver with a citron. And and my favorite thing, this cute little cat ring holder with blue eyes. So cute. And then we found some love. Yeah, we're waiting to check in. We have like 30 minutes. We found lots of cool rocks in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, show them. Oh, no, I found this shiny black one and this very cool striped one. This really cool striped one. This shiny one. This shiny one that I had a really cool green one, but I'm gonna go find it. Look, that one was really oh, cool. Oh, good. Sorry. Yeah, you go. The green. Oh, no! Oh, it just doesn't it's want to. It doesn't want to you fly away. No, it's supposed to be with me. This really nice green one. Ooh, ah. <laughs> I got this one, which is going to be super cool once cleaned up. It looks better in the sunlight, too, but this is the best spot we got. I got this really shiny black one. Super cool. This one, which has got like these blue and green layers in it. And then this red one with a little stripey that Alice found for me. Pocket full of rocks. Oh, she did find a good one. Look at that. Okay, so this one. I don't know if it's visible, but the top oh, is like yeah. this mint green, like seafoam green, and it has the shiny black underneath. We like, we're just waiting for our rooms and then we'll show you those because they're super freaking cute. Mm -hmm. Here's our bed and breakfast that we're staying at. This is our room. Alice and I are sleeping in this one together, and Lady and Courtney are staying in the other one. This is the bathroom, really adorable. And this bathtub I'm dying over. <laughs> I'm about to take a nice little bath and set up some candles feeling very spoiled right now after these last like nine days of camping. So the tub's filling up. Um, that was weird. Hmm. Spooky. I wonder if Alice just left. That was strange. Hmm. Okay, well I'm going to bathe now. So, peace, I guess. took the best bath ever before we go out on the town and Court and I are out here watching the hummingbirds now. 
let me show you guys because they're amazing. We're about to go out and get some drinks. <laughs> and so we're gonna show our outfits because everybody looks so cute. Alice, go! Oh, all right. This blue gem dress. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ha. <laughs> oh, ah, we did the same thing! <laughs> Darn, stop! I am wearing this little suede skirt. Hey, to everyone! <laughs> and this brown uh, lace top. And most importantly, highlight of the outfit, these awesome boots. Ow! So, ow. that's it! Ow, ow! Courtney! Alright, here we go. We got blue velvet shoe, green velvet. That's right! And I'm leaving out. And then I got this dress earlier at that shop that we went to. I showed you guys. Belt. Boots. Cowboy voices, I know when things on I brought hat with a pin. Off we go! Just met Cowboy Josh. So now that he's departed, um, let's talk about Cowboy Josh, everybody. <laughs> like it's the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. He's still going. He oh walked us across God. the street, which was nice, and invited us to this bar. <laughs> he like owns this town? What's the story? Does anybody uh, catch that? He knows a lot of people around. He knows yeah, lots of people. Yeah, he's a hype man. He's a hype man, yeah. Cowboy I got that. Josh is his name. Cowboy Josh. He owns this town. <laughs> <laughs> this is our floating heads here to say goodnight to you all. We had a fantastic time dancing the evening away. We had to leave early. We didn't because the mom and pop shop yeah they said they close at 12 so we're back at home not willingly but we're here and <laughs> we're going to bed and so good night well are we because i still think we could find a little hole to sneak out of there yeah we rat. try to get out of the windows honestly they're like pretty closed up but they're like super boarded up we might possibly find a way out tonight so I if so yeah if so we will keep you updated but if not that we are uh, prisoners. <laughs> well, we have a fantastic night, whatever you're doing, or day, or afternoon. <laughs> Love you lots, and goodbye!